Hello guys, in this tutorial I will talk about the node safety and how to deal with it. It is very easy and very similar to the previous SDK and almost nothing different only about the variable initialization. And also there is old buttons that has been deprecated which is these buttons and as they show you the old widget, old theme and new widget and the new themes. I will give you this link in the description of this tutorial. Okay, and later on in this course, I, I also use the text buttons instead of the flat button, for example. I used both, and even if this is deprecated, it will still work for you, even if you are on the null safety. Okay, so let's continue, and in here, I will show you how to deal with it. So as I said, the main difference is about the variable initialization and Flutter team did that to help us to deal with the null problems. So in order to get started, I created a new project and I initialized a scaffold and a container and a text. This text take hello world as a string and I give it some styling, text aligned to the center, and text style of font size 25 and color of white color. And I wrap this text by a center. If I save it now, as you can see, it moved up a little bit. I will keep the center for a good look. And I wrap this container with the center to be aligned in the center of the screen in here. I initialized a new file, which is the home, which is contain those widgets, and I use it in the main screen in here. For sure, the title deal with the null safety, for example. For sure, it's not a title, but just for clarifying. So let's continue. Now, instead of this string, let's initialize a string in here and use it. So string, let's say text content equal to hello world. It's still making an error. We just need to add this semicolon. Let's use this in here. Let's restart the app and see. So nothing changed. All right, great. So what if we delete this and as you can see it makes an error if we press on this lamp in here they ask us if we want to add late modifier let's add it restart our app and see okay great so what this late modifier means this late modifier means that this string must be initialized later on so we can initialize it somewhere else in here but for sure the best place to be initialized is something called init state now i'm explaining this before that we start coding and if you are new to the flutter you may not understand it very well but believe me later on it will be very useful and it will be more clear so press on this lamp in here convert it to stateful widget and now there's something called int state that's only available in a stateful widget. Okay, it must be a stateful widget in order to use it. So in here, let's say text contents equal to hello world. Like this. Hit restart and see what will happen. Okay, so it works well and everything as we expected. So this state modifier means that we must initialize this string or any other, if we initialize any end, for example, or any other variable, we must initialize it later on if we want to use it. Okay, we cannot use it without initializing it. Okay, so I will show you something else. Let's delete this and delete this. And if we want this value to be null, we can add an interrogation mark in here but we will get an error in here this error remind us to add 
that this value might, might be null okay so if we press on this icon they will ask us to add an null check let's add it and restart the app and see what will happen it will make an error because we gave this text field a null in here let's try to write null we can't write null because this text must have a string we can give it an empty string for example it will work fine but we we must give it something a string okay so if it is like this we can deal with it by initializing it also in here so we say in here hello world again and we can use it in here again and for sure we must add an null check hit restart and see so it works as we expected very well now if I don't want to initialize it we can do a check in here for example check if it is null because it is a null value so we can check it I mean this volume might be null so we can check it if it's equal to null as this is the case we show something else for example the value is null let's do like this hit restart and see okay so this is printed this has appeared on the screen let's change this to 180 180 hit save okay so here it is the value is null so because the text content is null and here the value become I mean this value become printed on the screen okay so once you understand this you will know how to deal with each variable a variable and how to initialize it and how to use it so that's the main thing that you need to know about the null safety and as a previous section of the null safety i showed you many i mean i attached many okay so in the section one and the deal was not safety and now the number of it is three what it may change later if I add any new lecture and if you press on these resources you will find in here many attached resources so check it out and if you have any question later on you can ask me and I will answer you and details